I have goal, one right? defender and one attacker, that's fine, so. okay? Ready? Yeah, I guess that first goal was quite a surprise for the Sea Lions. Let's see. Probably, they can equalize, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was very quick, so yeah. uh, you just get startled like that, and it doesn't look good for the Swiss team, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That was a very... The defender was just laying Goal there for the blue loosely. team. Yeah, Scored got out of position quite quickly. Need a stick at the bottom to just even have a chance. Or like tight on the goal. I've seen goalies do that as well. Some of them can just do that for like Ready? 50 seconds laying flat like you're glued on top. Good goal from Sea Lions yeah. to equalize. That was definitely... Yeah, yeah, I, I was just focusing on the goalie before, but the attacker was also very good, like very uh, organized play there. And now they also did a counter. They're very secure in w knowing where the players are, right? Just they don't have any doubt of knowing where to pass. There's nothing oh, there two on like, one. oh, I can't find him. I gotta say now, seeing that I'm, maybe he was, uh, he probably was in the goal actually, but the goalie seems to be laying very tight there. Yeah. Regardless of uh, actually doing a foul or not. Or maybe he did again, who knows. Looks like another. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, from this angle. Penalty throw for the blue team. Okay, yeah. Shoulder, Shoulder in the waiting. basket again. I guess we'll can't just quite see it from this angle, but he must be. Um, yeah, maybe we should go him. over there and tell him that if he doesn't fall, he should do it in front of the yeah, camera. Yeah, do it this so direction. We can actually <laughs> comment on it. That's that would be. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. Well, yes. We'll take that into consideration. Ready? And the white player seems to have argued a bit with the referee. What he said, we couldn't hear, but uh, seems to be something of an. Uh, ah, that's another goal for the Sea Lions. It seems like the uh, white team has some. Goal for the blue team, scored by uh, player you know, number points 69. Points to make on this whole situation of having the shoulder on the goal. Maybe there's like some. Unavoidable scenario. I don't know. Maybe one of them has like a very slim back, so yeah, he's ready. falling. I know some goalkeepers like that. So another start from Zurich after the goal from the yeah. Sea Lions. Getting caught in the middle quite quickly by the Sea Lions. It's just uh, getting to a bit of a, a uh, scrum in the surface. Yeah, scrum kerfuffle. Who knows? Just a bit rumble on there but they pass the ball down and now the sea lions are attacking it's a bit unclear it's right in this blind spot of the cameras because we don't have a middle camera i don't know I haven't noticed that but um they they nearly got a fully completely open goal on the Zurich side there, there. the ball uh, seems to be in yeah goal for that the blue team scored um, by number very curious goal on scorer did not even another goal from the sea lions just yeah, when the six, oh, yeah, oh was, the interchange of the goal who scored the goal who scored the goal number 36 okay 36 ready don't have a 36 on our sheet but yeah <laughs> they don't have a 36 that's interesting yeah, I think probably probably, probably a bit 26 20. there's a 26 on that sheet oh okay yeah so yeah. Okay, so Sea Lions managed to get the ball back after another start and are attacking and, and the ball's in again. Another goal. So we can't get, the to team. get themselves together. It's just Number a bit lost on the defense side, right? The yeah. The, the defender, they could they push just push displace. over the side. Yeah. That's not something that a defender should have. <laughs> have. It's oh, we do have a middle camera. I'm just noticing. We just didn't cut to that before. And the sea lions taking a very, Another very strong recovery. 
stance on getting that, but then losing the ball at the goal. Uh, that's unfortunate. If you do, when you don't see the ball as an attacker, that is it's falling behind your back. But managed to still there. pass it around. Yeah, they, they st they're still and occupying the goal. That's the next one. They're just staying there. Just they, they the really team. do know the Scored gaps. And they're taking a lot of space around the basket and yeah. three. Nine, three. making those. Yeah. They they're Stop very the capitalizing they on those very gaps. strong positioning. Yeah, there. they have to push the basket back. And that basket they're is also the loose the one. Maybe that position. plays into that. Maybe that's the reason there's okay. uh, that much. Ready to go. So just under two minutes left. Yeah, for the first half. For the first half, yeah. It's yeah. not looking good for Zurich. Zurich tried to just swim on the surface for a bit and pass it down, but didn't manage to yeah, pass down to their player. The surface swims are also always very risky. And now one of the referees seems to have... Um, it's calling up a player. Yeah. yeah. Two player, uh, blue player number eight. Two minutes. Two roughing, minutes. Kicking. So a two-minute penalty for... Player number eight. Player number eight on the sea lines. Yeah. Blue player number eight, please. And a free throw for throw. white. Now they're playing a goal again. I think I know why that is. And the person in the control center should maybe point back to where the goal plays because right now we have a free throw, free throw. And they're already playing down there. Someone seems to like to watch the replays in the control room. So one minute left. Yeah. Let's see if um, Zurich can take advantage of the one player out for the sea lines. Yeah. But it looks yeah, like no. the sea lines are holding them quite well at the center of the pool. Uh, if there was one player more down there, there they probably would have had a chance, right? There was some strong play from Zurich to actually have the ball in a secure position. But then there wasn't anyone to pass to, so the sea lines just took it again. Yeah, and now they have another of these scrums at the surface. Or yeah. nearly had one. Looks like the sea lions were scrumming to hold possession and let the clock tick down. And that's the last minute intermission. Uh, blue free throw. And Bye. half time. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's the first half. So yeah, good good start for Zurich with that quick goal but um yeah but that really seems to have been a stamp or like luck maybe yeah caught the sea lines off guard came out there but yeah good goal like managed to get the gap and then there were like then there were like five well coordinated goals from the sea lines yeah just strong positioning right at the goal and knowing what to yeah. do a then couple we of see penalties one again as well. That was the one where, oh yeah, where they threw it in right at the exchange. These goalie exchanges are deadly if you don't do them correctly. In these positions, you really ought to do them tight as tight as nails. Uh, no, that's tough as nails, not tight as something else. Uh, I need to get my uh, English sayings in order. I know one, but it's probably not appropriate for the live stream. <laughs> yeah, probably not. I kind of get your drift. Yeah. All right. yeah. Yeah, two two good um, sort of well-practiced penalties. Yeah, I mean from the, the sea lines. The sea lines are strong in attacking, but I gotta say the uh, Zurich team was also oh. very, very loose on the goal. Yeah, they had like they had one of them where one person was laying half between defense, half between goal. And that's not a position you should hold ever. It's just either lay flat on the floor or tight on the goal, and in between is just inviting people to just get in either one of these gaps. Resume in one minute. The other one had a, had a strong start. Actually, pushed the attacker 
back. I don't know if we can see a playback uh, we saw it before, late on the goal, and then the attacker came from the top and got pushed back, and if that defender had laid down on the floor, that could have been a very strong defense there. Yeah. But those are always... It's tricky. It's really hard to get that right. 30 seconds remaining of the halftime break. Let's see if we get more scruffs on the surface. I kind of feel like we will. Yeah, uh, potentially as the Zurich team get a bit more tired with um, mean, less subs. and All teams are kind of tired. Now. I think both yeah. teams have two games already behind them for today, or one at least. Yeah. They've already played one. And yesterday also and tomorrow they also have games. It's just get ready. terribly exhausting. See a lot of support for the Sea Lions in the chat. And seems to be seems firing to them on. Yeah. They've got the ball from the start and yeah. they're feeling the energy for the YouTube live stream. That was a bit the Sea Lions tried to attack there and couldn't get quite get the ball to the floor, so they um Ooh, and bit of a oh that was unfortunate <laughs> <laughs> hit him in the <laughs> oh, dang. behind the head sea lions had a strong attacking game in front of the goal of the Zurich team and then played a goal ball directly at the head of a teammate and now they they're close to the goal and that's and another goal yeah but there seems to be issues with mm. the goal because yeah, the no referees goal. are signing that this is not a goal so let's see what the Things about potentially pushing. Wide free throw. Wide free throw. Uh, there seems to be seems to have been some fouling. Maybe some pushing without the ball. Maybe, maybe or like from that other player on the other side. On the, no holding on the rim would have been a penalty. So yeah. There's a free throw for White, and now they're executing it. Uh, but that's just really the blue team really knows where the white team is going to play. Good recovery there from Zurich after yeah. not so good pass they're swimming from the sea in the wrong, Unfortunately, they're swimming in the wrong direction, you know, because the goal is in the other way. Yeah. I get that they're trying to free that, but yeah, it's always trying to make some room. But uh, Is the ball? Oh, no, I thought the ball was below the referee. Every referee is a nightmare to have the ball below you, so you just have to get out of the way and just terribly clumsy with that bottle on your back. Uh, that seems to be a ball for Zurich, and now they're in their half. Advantage. Yeah, back at the Sea Lions basket. This could be some very strong attack. Putting some pressure on the back. Yeah, but there's also some solid defense from the Sea Lions. Looks like. I don't know. Yeah, that's good a block positioning from Zurich, by but that block has been. Yeah, has intercepted. Been cut short by a by defender laying there just at the right time. I mean, it hasn't backfired yet, but those goalies also have very loose exchanging. There are just large gaps there. I guess it's not relevant because the ball just keeps getting caught either on the surface or in some scruffs. It doesn't matter where it is. And now the Sea Lions have the ball again. They're playing back there. And they nearly got the empty goal. That was close. Fast counterattack. Ah, unfortunately, attacking from the top, that is always a bit of a risky play. Those can go well, but usually they don't. And now they're trying to attack. And well that's a solid goal. Goalie displaced, there. but the yeah. second goal has come down and filled the gap. Push the ball down again right through the arms of the defender, but then they're also two other sea lions just attacking and holding on. Oh sea lions wow. now got now the ball one on one. No. Uh, I thought I thought yeah. was caught there with just one one goalie laying in this sort of awkward twilight zone position of not even oh, one but side or the other. With and that could be oh, oh. no. Well well, Zurich, uh, Zurich intercepted well caught that. by Zurich there. Just turning in the right moment and holding it tight and actually capturing the ball, but it doesn't really help you if you get caught in your own half. It's 
So another scrum at the surface here. Yeah. You can kind of see in the way they're playing that Circus really is playing with, what is that, four players less? Yeah, but they're, they're doing, appears they're doing quite well, well, better in defense this half. Uh, they they really are. Yeah. yeah they they caught themselves, but you can see one time before they, one player had the had the ball and there wasn't any player of to um, offering themselves at the bottom to catch yeah. it. Yeah. So, that's uh, um, that's another goal. Uh, nope. Yeah. One on one with the goalie. Yeah. And Sea oh, Lions scored another. Scored by player number eight. <coughs> Time out for the white team. Time off for the white team. Now they gotta catch themselves again. Yeah, it looked like he moved to try and grab it, but yeah. unfortunately missed and <laughs> sea lines chucked it straight yeah, into the goal. Another good idea. Let's have a look here. I think that's uh no, that's I don't think that's is that the replay from right now? Uh yeah, I think it is. And yeah, so he's yeah, spun just yeah. right on the side, the defender didn't notice it. That was unfortunate. That's us. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah. It's a nice game, right? Yeah. No, I think Zurich's going quite well for, yeah, the, the, the number of players they have. Um, but, uh, yeah, obviously they're getting tired. And I'm seeing now a lot of Support still in the chat for the sea lions. Just Ready? comment after comment. Strong fan base, I see. Now, ah, that's Ooh. Circus playing there and had some good plans and some had good some good strategy. options there. Yeah, yeah, they 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 really did play their players in good positions, but then unfortunately just laid it right in the hands of the sea lion. And now the sea oh, lions are playing forward and four sea lions down. Yeah. Like a swarm of two now just getting there and straight ahead. Zurich wrapping the ball up. Yeah, it's going to be another Sea Lions scrub, still have like. possession. Uh, and then the Sea Lions get back and Zurich is very empty at the goal. But now they, they've gone, come to eight and seems it didn't get in. Uh, oh, oh, it's a goal. <laughs> goal for the blue team. Scored by player number 26. 26. Yeah, I didn't qu quite see what happened there. I think, think 26 was one of them who did the free throws earlier, right? Or was it someone else? Oh no, 26 was the one who got the timeout earlier. I think. Ready? Zurich starting with the ball again. And now actually getting it to one yeah. of the players at the bottom, but the player pass. gets caught just the very second they get in the half. A very rough. Yeah. See lines looking around. Mauling them a bit. Being held by the Zurich team. Closer to the sea lines basket, but still not quite not quite there. Yeah. And then pass down to Zurich and now they're maintaining possession. Uh, I'm unfortunately being intercepted again. Uh, sea Lions making a fast counter attack. Catching it right one there. One on one. Just one on one. That could end badly. Yeah, second Sea Lion. Uh, let's see. I guess no one saw that because I just saw the glimpse of one shoulder very deep in that goal again. <laughs> but I guess we had enough penalties for today. And that's it. Yeah. It's very dire situation. Yeah, Sea Lions yeah. managed to keep passing it around, applying pressure, and Scored just waited for that gap. Two Sea Lions right at the goal, waiting for the pass down. Yeah, and we actually lost connection on our chat. Ready? I don't know if we should. First now. And now, uh, uh, so he's playing forward again, but being intercepted. Oh no, no, actually one player makes it close to the goal, but um, it's getting caught then. And the ball, ooh. 
That's first of all a very uh, unfortunate pass to the Sea Lions, nearly getting caught by Zurich there. And then it got you another Sea Lion again, now there's a scruff at the surface. Just as it goes this entire game. But Zurich holding strong still. Ah, oh, no. no. Looks like Sea Lions have come out with the ball. <laughs> uh, I was getting ready to say Zurich actually got the ball. but Oh, oh no, no, Zurich you got the ball it. again. No, oh, I know. I should I should be the only one on this these games I probably know. Best what's gonna happen next now. Now my track record is set. Uh, no. The Sea Lions got the ball again. But that was a close one for Zurich. Nearly got it there. Playing around the defender on the goalie. Just as the Sea Lions were doing to them the entire game and now they're in. Uh, Looks like an out of bounds. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Yeah, yeah right. a bit of a tussle in the center, and it's quite easy to get pushed out. Yeah, I know. That is just something that does happen. I just saw that in the replay, right as it was over, that the ball was just punched out, just flying you have out. To keep two meter distance, three seconds. Oh, and the sea lions are not keeping distance. Just getting very close on. Seems like our live stream is back. Okay. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Yep. Clock needs stop for 17 seconds left on that half time. Doesn't look good for Zurich. You have to stop playing when you have when you hear the signals. You have to stop playing when you hear the signals. Okay. I don't know what happened. Can we go again? Why free throw? Why is starting the free throw with 15 seconds left on the clock and uh, losing the ball? It's like he yeah. played the ball to someone they didn't see it. Yeah, played the ball to yeah. someone, but that someone slipped, and that then it got to a sea lion who passed to another sea lion. Just yeah, sea lion going the out, and that is the end of the game. Oh. Landing in the goal right after the bell rings. Just. I gotta say, I had one of Game these over. balls in hand earlier, and they're very slippy. Oh, okay. I had some weight, like they don't have any grip. Oh no. All right. Oh, the, I mean they have grip, but the grip is limited. No, no, no. That Could was have just, uh, it. Uh, but that was the game. Sea lions against Zurich. Yeah, good, good first goal from Zurich, um, but unfortunately. Also yeah. very tight one. Right? Very Just, tight. Uh, yeah. like two centimeters, not a goal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But then Sea Lions had some more structured attacks and managed to just break down. That last one's not a goal. Uh, yeah, that's not a goal. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't count, but it's just uh, this a, good, one a good replay, though. To describe how this game went. Anyway, um, I believe next up is Lisa again on commentator. And for our next yeah. game. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Uh, it was lovely.
So, Welcome back, Lisa. Thank you, Jared. We are back for another of the men's games. Um, we have in blue Luxembourg against Udevala from Sweden in white. Um, it will be a quite intense game. As we were saying before, Udevala landed fourth of their group. They had the toughest group, I think, in the men's competition. It was um, Malch Udevala from Sweden, Aquaquick from Denmark, and the Sea Lions that we just saw play. <laughs> it was a very, very tough group, and yep. Udevala, unfortunately, is just with um, nine players. Right, okay. So they're really hard. Similar to uh, Zurich. Yes. So basically, of the 15 you see here, <laughs> yep. a few are missing. So of course, they what had a the hard time against just? full teams. It was very, very hard games with very small differences as well. They had uh, team ready? But like 1-0, 2-0, 2-1. My team ready? Wow. Yeah. So yeah, good work with just so the team nine. Luxembourg uh, is not a bad team at all, but they will struggle. So. so a good start. Looks like Luxembourg might have the ball. Just caught up in a scrum in the center. Okay, Udavala got control of the ball and have two players swimming towards the Luxemburger goal. Oh. Have one player under the goalie, pushing off. It's a very good pressure around the basket. Unfortunately, Luxembourg like recovers the, bo yeah, the ball. Yeah, Luxembourg. <laughs> Hide behind the, the ref referee. <laughs> <laughs> it's one way of avoiding <laughs> the opposition. As long as you're not caught in the cable since you're right. And now we have again a surface crumb. We develop with a fast break, but there's a goal in a back in position. <coughs> and Luxembourg pushing out applying a lot of pressure in defense here. Mm -hmm. I've recovered the ball now. Swimming slowly across, looking for passes. Now we are in the center of the field. Luxembourg still has control of the ball. Yeah, making space, going down the close side. This is interesting. I was not expecting them to be in control of the ball that much. Udevala hasn't... I expected Udevala to be dominating by now, but uh, not really. They've been at the goal and making pressure on the goal a few times. Luxembourg haven't, hasn't gotten there yet. The ball fell down, oh but I recovered by the Swedish the goalie. Ball. Now we have one Swedish player counter-attacking. Passing in the closed corner. Good two quick passes there to get rid of the forward. And good pass into the closed side. But unfortunately, couldn't push off the goalie. There's quite now a few players on the water all the time. Yeah. So now Udavala. another wave of attack here. Udavala is quite precise with their passes. Um, I think I have a scrum again. The Luxemburger back. Uh, got started fighting against one of the Swedish attackers. And the scrum is moving towards Udavala half. Udavala recovers the ball and swims towards the Luxembourg basket. Okay, we have an attacker under the goal. No, gets the ball stolen. The back recovered the ball, holding it in the open corner. Behind the back pass and a counter attack here from Luxembourg. Held up in the center by 
Urbawa. And looks like a referee call. Referee no, call. no, no. He's still playing. Just slowing it down a bit. Yeah, I think you noticed that Udevala has a few players missing. Especially when attacking, they kind of have, they don't have those full waves of three players all the time. You have one player going again, and then another one. They're doing, doing some good sustained attack here. Mm -hmm. Good passing under pressure. And just wave after wave of it. Yeah, single player, as you said, Lisa. But they're doing a very good job of disrupting the defense. Absolutely. And then... The yeah. classic Swedish Madla. He was in position, just Goal waiting. Line, and looked like the goal he had left. Mm -hmm. so, he so we had <laughs> Erik Sustadius again from Udevala scoring a goal with the Nala Technik. Technique. Which, when the posi when the player is uh, well positioned for Medla, it's really hard to then defend it. Yeah, it looked potentially like the goalie was also coming up to change, but Could I'm be. not sure. Yeah, the other goalie wasn't there, so yeah. But it's really hard to really defend, like for the backs, like the, the means of the opponent is like all around your basket. You can't get any position. Yep. You have uh, one of the Swedes again at the Luxembourg basket. Luxembourg recovers the ball. And we have a surface crumb. Very good game so far by Luxembourg. Bit of fumbling for the ball there, but Luxembourg have managed to get... Looks like a mask has been knocked off there. Yes. Uh, and a ref call there. Attacking equipment. So we have a free throw. Blue free throw. <laughs> for Luxembourg. Luxembourg took the free throw and have moved to the Swedish basket. Moving it around a little bit further away. The player here is lacking support, though he didn't go in because he didn't have anyone going with him. Let's see the there and attack the basket the dead and Udevala is fighting for the ball have a surface crumb directly above the goal Luxembourg maintains possession and they stay in the corner above the Udevala basket got two Uruvala players in the scrum versing one Luxembourg. So we're the Luxembourg is still moving the basket uh, the goal, <laughs> the ball around the, ball the, the basket. basket. <laughs> <laughs> it's all relative. Moving the basket around the ball. <laughs> yeah, I hope they don't move the basket too much. But um, yeah, they don't really dare and go in. Now I have a player on the open side as well who got in oh. behind the goalie. Can they bring the ball to that player though? 
Yeah, they did well to take the back position, but looks like the Swedish team have recovered the ball. Oh, it was a risk to take. Yeah. <coughs> Luxembourg holding them up at their own basket. Not not able to break out. I think that Udavala has the ball so far. Has a surface crumb moving towards the center. They still move towards the Luxembourg basket. Udavala has the ball. That it looked like it would be a free throw, it's just that they were all the team at the surface almost. Yeah, it was a bit weird. It's having a bit of a break, uh, a bit of a but drop in energy. Also, think that's the last game for them, I reckon. And that's half time there. So, yeah, good, good first half from both teams. From I think both teams, they both had. Good possession around opponents' baskets and yes, and Luxembourg is playing really well. They're really going for it and not letting Udevala really break through. Yeah, and it's just one zero at half time. Luxembourg managing to get it and holding it around the Swedish basket, but not really applying too much pressure. A little no. bit further out, but yeah, still really good possession. Yeah, Udevala starting started quite strong, but uh, now they've had a bit of a drop in energy. How do you feel it? Especially this whole like last five minutes. It yep. was a lot of defending on their side as well. Yeah, they'll probably still want to try and get at least one more goal before just holding holding the defense. But Definitely. Let's see if they can do that after a nice half-time break. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see if Luxembourg maybe can, yeah, put some more pressure on and find some gaps. I reckon they will. Yeah. How many more games we got left for today? Mm. Just three more. We have no two more games. Two more. Two sorry, more. So not including this one. Yes. Then we have two more games. Uh, two women's games. So the Hammerheads from the USA against Barcelona, and then Isbjörnana from Sweden against the Victoria Sea Dragons from Australia. White captain. So the referee is calling the captains. Because they want um, to tell the captains about maybe some kind of warning. Yeah. Mm. The referees often do that. That they notice something it's not worth interrupting the game for, but then they will bring it up in half time. At the half time, like watch out, you're doing this or that, or that could get you a team warning or a pe time penalty or something. Yeah. Because referees, like the goal of the referees is not to penalize the players, is to make sure that the game is as safe and fair as possible. And bringing up some attitude problems, <laughs> maybe, or some like mistakes that the teams might be doing um, is at halftime is a great way of making sure that everything stays as clean as possible. Like, that's a good time to bring those things up. Yeah, keep it at bay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just about to start the second half. Do we have some Blue team ready? supporters from team ready? both countries in the chat? I've seen Luxembourg, but not many Swedes so yeah, far. Good. Lux uh, Swedish team got to the ball. 
first, but I'm not sure if they passed it to right to their player. Luxembourg have now got possession. So, oh, now back to the Swedish team. Videvala has the ball and swims towards the Luxembourg basket, and again one player around, like wrapped around the ball. Oh. Very close there, but unfortunately didn't quite get the ball in his hands. So we have two, three Swedish players down. It's a fast start to the second half here. Mm -hmm. I think both teams really want to score. Oh, oh, that was a pass, a missed pass. You could see yeah. it was just about to get the ball around and in, but um, was confusion. stolen there from a Luxembourg player. There's a bit of confusion here among the Swedes, but they keep control of the ball. Now I reckon they will pull out a bit and go back in in waves. No, they're not really managing to go through. Okay, Udova has like the ball again. Yeah, Udova. Managed to get the ball back in uh, Luxembourg's half. And now applying some more pressure. Set up at the basket. Attempting him. a medal again. Medal so again. Number 96 has been wrapped around the and basket the last few minutes. Looks like a goal. That so was a goal from Sweden. Ball managed to goal go up wide. to another player and finished past the goalie there. So by Eric Sostadius again. Another goal. Great goal. Yeah, that sustained yeah, attack and disrupting the back position mm -hmm. just causes some chaos and yeah the, the gaps open up would have well dropped the ball now and they're counter attacking we keep on moving towards the Luxembourg basket opening it up Swimming around. Pass down into the corner. But good for checking by Luxembourg. Yeah. They have very tight defense and good for checking. Um, the is having quite a hard time scoring against them. Yeah. Once again. Eric around the basket. But the ball um, doesn't made didn't make it to him. Yeah, ball locked up in the corner. Ruvala still passing it around nicely on the closed side. And another attempt at, at Madla, but, uh, uh, Mala, but uh, ref call here. Pushing. Pushing. Um. Blue free throw. Time out, blue. Time out, blue. So Luxembourg is taking a, a time out. I guess to discuss what to do in the next five minutes. Yeah. Looks like the Swedish team have sped back up again, yes, like after half time. So. And applying a lot of pressure and taking that back position quite a lot. Luxembourg is playing really well and not really not letting up. That was a very good game. Not so letting far. them get it into that mm. into that uh, position. Yeah, no, it's very good so far. And they really have had some opportunities. Like at the beginning of the game, there were a lot in the Swedish half. They move into scrums, surface scrums, a bit uh, quite often, which is what you yep. do sometimes when you don't have the condition or the the communication necessary to be able to have players Blue always Blue. enough players on the water to keep on bringing the ball forward that's how you end up moving into uh, surface crumbs 
but uh, very good so far. I think the game is about to restart. It has re has restarted now. You warning. Oh, ref call. Zone. Okay. So we've got a warning for the free throw. The two meter zone two meter again. Zone. So they had to repeat the free throw in favor of Luxembourg. Udevala recovered the ball. It's a quick, quick counter attack, but unfortunately, ran out of support there. Mm -hmm. And Luxembourg has four players on the water in the defense, um, which is pretty good, but. Sweden is very good at was having one player wrapping himself Around behind the basket. Yeah, behind the back. The backs always have someone behind them. Oh, was that a goal? That was no. not a goal. That was close. Yeah. Well. Yeah, Looked the like he managed to get the ball and had an attempt there, but unfortunately didn't didn't yeah. get it in. Yeah, the player who always wraps, like having someone always wrapped around the opponent's basket, doesn't guarantee that you will score. No. But this is so stressful for the backs. Yeah. Because they cannot get into position. And as soon as they don't lie completely glued to the basket, the Swedes take the opportunity and just wrap themselves around the goal. Luxembourg is there with their good defense. Someone lost to Finn. Luxembourg is having fast counter attack, but unfortunately it was just one player. Support was missing there, and the pass uh, was a bit too risky. Got immediately recovered by Udevala. Falls down to the bottom of the pool. We're still on the close corner of the Udevala half, and now we have a surface scrum in the center of the pool. What is a fight for the ball? It still managed. Yeah, trying to swim through on the surface there. Along the wall. Looking for a pass below. Udevala gets the ball and swims uh, on the open side to the Luxembourg basket. And they're moving the ball in the Luxemburger half. So just under three minutes left now. I think it's going to be hard for Luxembourg to turn it around would be impossible, but uh, yeah. I think we'll have a hard time uh, scoring. Strong performance. Some good defense here. And it looks like goal. another goal. I have to stop saying that teams are doing a great job because I'm goal. systematically <laughs> <laughs> jinxing all the teams I've talked about today. <laughs> but I think they scored okay. on this... Switch of the goal yeah. goalies. It looked like he maybe. I'm not sure what he got out of did. position to try and grab the ball. Um, yeah, it could be. Yeah, not sure there. Not sure who scored either from Luxem from Udevala. But we're again in the close corner of the Udevala half. Luxembourg has a the ball there. There is tiny bit under two minutes left to the game. Luxembourg needs to go all in. And try and score. Yeah, Luxembourg holding it here at the Udevala goal. But they're not um, they're lacking yeah. support. You have one player and the second one is very late and uh, Udevala just recovered, recovered the ball. ball. have uh, three Luxembourg players on him, but the ball fell directly into the hands of a Udevala player. One of them stole the ball. Good recovery by Luxembourg. But again, support is missing. The post pass the ball down. And Luxembourg keeps on swimming towards the Udevala goal. They're in the close corner. 
Oh, quick pass into the closed Two side. Passes. Pass out again. With this uh, Gilles Grün, number 33. Has a great move, like a one two goal and one two attack yeah. uh, the goalie. That was pretty To good. try and um, unsettle the defence a bit mm -hmm. before going in. But I'm not sure where that pass was going. Yeah, oh. directly to Eric from the other yeah. team. We have someone from Luxembourg on the Udevala basket, but he left. Um. Oh no! Uh, ref call, ref uh, call uh, out, out of bounds. Wide free throw. And it's free throw. probably pretty much time over. Pretty much. If um, Udevala stalls a bit, then the time is over. Yes. And game. Good game. Very, very strong performance by Luxembourg. Yes. No, great defense. Um, and great actions as well. Like they had actions, the yeah. good um, offensive faces. They're a bit like the um, the Swiss women, the Helvetia team, who like they would pass the ball around. They have good counter attacks, but then they don't trust themselves enough, maybe, to go win and try and score. Yeah. But they're good at building up. They have a good system. Then they struggle a bit to have those offensive waves with two, three players going again and again to the goal. Yeah, they're sort of letting the Swedish team mm. rest, being so far away yeah. from the goal. Um, and they're able to come down and take the ball back. But, yeah, Swedish team also just, you know, Mm -hmm. Taking that possession of the around the basket, taking the position and um, doing some really good, yeah, really good goals. I reckon that Luxembourg plays tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. against uh, Zurich. That is the last games for those two teams. And now we have coming up a uh, women's game, the one before last tonight. From the US in blue, the New Jersey Hammerheads against Barcelona from Spain in white. I think Jared and I are switching out and coming back for the next game. Yes. And so I guess we'll Wolf and Lorena are coming back in. Hear you in a minute. Five minutes. It's five minutes. Five minutes. Hello everybody, this is Wolfpack again. Yes, I still have my voice. I don't know uh, how this is possible. I have to agree uh, with the people asking me here in the, How's it going? Uh, in the pool area. Hey Wolf, you can still talk? Yes, I can. Hello. And with me I have uh, this beautiful woman uh, <laughs> who is an... Uh, Former world champion in underwater rugby, um, a goalkeeper, yeah, and the love of my life. <laughs> I have to repeat that from time to time. So, next uh, game coming up um, is uh, the New Jersey Hammerheads against Barcelona. That's that could be the third or the fourth game of Barcelona today. 
The third. I'm just looking exactly. I'm reading because we have the list with the. Pretty exhausting day for. Uh, so many did they have. Yes, uh, they started this, the this morning, I guess. Let me see. No, it's to say the third. The third. The third. All right. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Okay. So, how's the audience doing? Do we have Barcelona fans? Uh, do we have uh, Hammerheads fan? Are you there? Let us know if you are watching. I hmm, somehow the live stream chat doesn't work right now. Let me see. Teams getting ready. Yeah, I think you have to reload your. No, yep, you have Friday. You have to go Saturday. Oh, wrong day. That's fascinating. Hammerheads. So, have you uh, already seen both teams playing? Um, yep. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. One minute. And they're playing here. Yeah, because, you know, the girls are, like, all together and they're just, you know, playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. still commit every time. Yeah. They, every year they change the system when <laughs> I start getting confused. Um, so, we have here... Um, yeah, I mean, tomorrow are going to be for the places. Well, uh, we have to see how they, they are ready. Let's let's get into the game. Playing all against each other. And team, all right, yeah. that's uh, one of the last games of the day. And uh, we start uh, Barcelona in white hammerheads in uh, dark and blue. And uh, in the middle of the pool, hammerheads start with a ball possession going up to the surface, passing down very nice uh, combination here to start up. And already they are at the basket trying to uh, swim around the basket and pass to the player waiting on the open side. Didn't succeed in the first run. Second player comes, plays. That, that was a little bit uh, unnecessary. Um, and uh, the pass, pass was intercepted by Barcelona. And uh, now Barcelona is in ball possession, trying to work their way in direction to the hammerhead basket. That is not... That easy because the hammerheads uh, do a, a very intense forechecking. They don't give them the room to uh, reach their basket. We are still in the middle fighting for the ball. And now the hammerheads recover the ball. And we oh have a oh very oh fast run on the basket, empty basket. We they had th that th happening Yeah, earlier. Barcelona didn't expect this one come in so fast. We see this here, this change switch. And uh, the whole Barcelona team is behind or a buffer, and uh, the goalie Anyone? or the, um, it's the it's defender funny because was coming into we late. have it. We had the same situation um, when the Hammerheads uh, play against Vienna, and the first goal was like this, or the 20, second, I remember now. But it was exactly the same, four. like this. I mean, all Vienna was at the front, like attacking, and they, they either they didn't see the player. She started from almost three meters away from their from their basket. <laughs> Um, okay, we have a Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona is in the defense, and uh, the Hammerheads. Oh, there's a call from the referee. I don't see the sign. Oh, Holding see. without. Uh, Dark free throw. Roughing. Roughing. Dark free throw. So tough game, and uh, it's a free throw for the Hammerheads. And Barcelona is in defense. White number twenty-one. White number twenty-one. What was the? Uh, didn't get. Yeah, well, um, I'm really. Okay, really hammerheads are uh, in the ball possession going for the basket of Barcelona, coming from the close side under the basket. But Barcelona is Hello. up for it now. Hello. They're for checking. And it's. Uh, Barcelona recovered the ball, but they're under heavy pressure going up to the surface in a cluster. And Hammerhead is on ball possession uh, from Barcelona. They are fighting for the ball on the surface, not so far away from the Barcelona basket. Ah, and the Barcelona player almost got the ball, dropped it on the ground. And again, Barcelona in ball possession under heavy forechecking attack from the Hammerheads, inching their way in direction to the US basket. Up to the surface on the close side. And uh, interfered and recovered by uh, Hammerhead. It's a back and forth and back to the Barcelona team. Let's see if they can get closer, at least uh, to start um, 
building up uh, pressure, the, the but attack, the pressure yes. has to find the structure. It's it's a little bit back and forth here for both. <coughs> well, let's see. Arsenal is coming from the close side, but it has done a pass uh, to the player that was in the middle, and it was uh, snitched away by uh, the hammerhead player. You know, when you have to attack, sometimes have to be avoid unnecessary passes and try to really attack the goalie and then do the pass in between so that between two players you eventually uh, score the goal. Yeah, um, it's, it's again Hammerheads uh, made it. It was easier for the Hammerheads and now they stole the basket from Barcelona or uh, lying on the basket next to it and the attack comes from the open side, the close side from above to the open side but uh, the forward checking of Barcelona is up for it there, interfere, the uh, goalie is on the, on the goal but torn away, she, she hold on to the ball from the hammerhead player and they are on the surface and call from the referee pushing Light free throw. and it's Holding. a free throw against hammerheads I guess. Light free throw, pushing away the goalie, holding. Yep, pushing away Light the goalie, free throw, free throw for Barcelona. Blue team, two meters. We have uh, 150 viewers. From all over the world, I guess so. Where are you watching from? Barcelona is in attack. Three players are going in on the bottom, trying to put pressure on the basket, but they are tackled away by the hammerheads. And oh, that was a dangerous pass behind her back. Luckily, there was a hammerhead player waiting there. If Barcelona would have been uh, down there on the bottom, that would have been a dangerous uh, kill pass to the opponent. Hammerheads are in the middle of the pool, trying to pass through, stopped by Barcelona, and then the Barcelona players. Uh, oh, that is pushing with no ball. Yes, a lot of pushing both. here no, on the Barcelona basket. Yep. I think they go. Uh, the referees go for advantage here. Yep. If uh, Barcelona can obvious. recover the ball, <laughs> the ball control here um, is in favor of the Hammerheads. Barcelona has a little bit problems taking control of the ball. All the players are almost. I can. I, I would say. Here we go. Barcelona is going in on the bottom with two players to the basket. The third player coming from above, too high to be part of the game. Yes, Barcelona is now on the close side, going to the corner, trying to pass back and forth to uh, build up uh, their numbers around the basket. But they have to get in with one point. Now they go in, they're building, uh, there's one on the bottom, on the close side, and uh, already Hammerhead players pluck the ball, go in and uh, try to rip the ball out of the hands of the Barcelona players. So it's a back and forth with a slight advantage uh, on the hammerhead side, I'd say. Um, they have uh, the a little bit of better ball control yep. and uh, swim faster and in a, in a more coordinated way. But let's see, Barcelona is really getting into the game. Well, ba Barcelona is doing a good for check-in, but what I'm missing here is the, 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 the way of getting organized at the, at, the, at the front and really do an effective attacking. Like now yep, we have yep. one of the players, she's Trying almost to positioned steal the basket. to steal the basket. But um, it's not, I mean, it's a little bit chaotic or not the, with the consequence that the Hammerhead does it when they go uh, to Barcelona basket. So we have now, um, again, uh, the white players from Barcelona, from Spain, trying to get closer. But uh, the Hammerheads are doing a great job defending. And uh, they uh, lost the ball. And now it's the Hammerhead with... Uh, two players starting a counter attack, and again the mm. goalie is a little bit late, but she just managed to at least try to grab the ball. Or it's a risky situation, and now the basket is empty, and the next summer had uh, had the ball and tried to turn around, but Barcelona really just saved the situation. But you don't need that this kind of um, how you say uh, hectiness, you know, like because. Uh, if you cannot bring uh, your game defending to be a little bit more uh, calm, then eventually you're going to do the mistake much, much quicker. No? And hammerheads are being very successful. White team warned for holding the basket. Okay, holding the Blue basket. Blue free apparently. throw. 
Free throw for uh, the Hammerhead because throw. apparently Barcelona for the basket. Uh, is uh, holding the basket uh, while defending. Probably that could be a defender. If it would have been uh, uh, a goal, it would have been a so penalty. White team so I get warned for think holding I would the say basket. it's a defender. Yeah. Okay. Warning on the white team. So defense uh, of Barcelona reacted pretty well uh, with this attack of the Hammerheads and they break out and are in the middle of the pool but the one player is uh, attacked by two Hammerhead players and now it's back and forth again with a, a tackling situation, a cluster going up to the surface in the middle of the pool. And Hammerheads are in ball possession again trying to get through stopped by the four checking and now two hammerhead players again it's the same picture we see a lot but now there's a little bit more of a defense here in front of the barcelona basket right in front of it and the hammerhead player tries to go on from above in the middle of the pool to the game uh, to the goalkeeper but barcelona managed to hold on to the ball lost the ball in the surface now in the corner close side on the top, ball is dropping down in the hands of a hammerhead player and she's trying to come from above to attack uh, the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper it looks like has uh, herself wrapped around the ball Yeah, they do it a lot but then they are pulled up yeah, and they are then pulled up and that's the difficulty because then you yes. have, uh, you cannot go down or you go down and you are yes, very exhausted Yes, and if you are one of the goalkeepers that will interrupt uh, the, the up and down of the goalkeepers call from the referee and Half it's a time. free throw against no, it's half time First break. First the free throw, sorry. First the free throw for Shoking and half time. Okay. How, how does this work? They do the free. Yeah, white free throw, Shoking. Throw and then stop the game? Okay. Well, it's half time now, so they stop. And we have the families here uh, cheering up for the uh, different teams. I see more people commenting for the Hammerhead. I don't know that we have Barcelona fans as well. Karina, Karina is there also. How much? <laughs> Suffering. How if you're not here, you're sick. I hope you recover. Um. Yeah, there was a uh, nice run for the Hammerhead player swimming through the through the whole pool. And I think we're against almost stuck in this uh, logo in 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 the Ferno. Makes me really dizzy, but I try to watch it and concentrate. I think we can it. use it for another referee also. I think we can use it for oh, another referee. Yeah, we, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're in the Again, half time break. So, one what's, zero. what's your uh, um, well, sum I mean up of this first half? For me, uh, the Hammerheads are dominating. Um, they have a more uh, structured game. They are more consistent in recovering the ball and swimming with two or three to do a counter attack. And they're also more consistent when they attack on the basket. And Barcelona is doing a great job um, for checking, defending. They're being effective, but with a lot of bit of chaos in between and a lot of like for us just like so breathing and watching what's going to happen and they are failing almost completely and to achieve um, a structure attack One minute. One so, minute. That, so that um, they're going to score I mean they need to okay what was that so uh, that's my I mean if, if Barcelona want to score they need to be able to really attack and do counterattacks with two or three uh, players. Otherwise, if they continue like this, I'm thinking even one or even two goals for the Hammerheads because the the problem of not being able to, to attack at, at when you are in form and, and not being very good um, in position when you defend is like the mistakes will start happening more and more. So let's see, I mean, sometimes the halftime really changes uh, a lot, the head of the players, <laughs> and they are even more aggressive or not. I mean, we've, we've been seeing this uh, throughout the, um, the competition. Both teams um, ready? Yeah, I'm I think Barcelona too. has the potential. Yes, absolutely. The thing is... They are all good players and they are in with the heart. Um, so let's uh, go in the water. Thank you for the picture. We would like to have an underwater picture. Technical team, could we have an underwater picture, please? 
I'm reading the commentaries on my, on my mobile. Okay, I have to go to the yeah, guys. Yeah, go on. You want me? Sorry. No, okay. So, okay, we're back. But we are back over water, now underwater. Okay. All right. So, uh, we have uh, Barcelona going towards the Hammerheads basket. Let's see if now they can get a little bit so more. So, well done. Yes, uh, played left and right, but they needed a block on this side. Uh, the, the attacker is under too much stress already. And that pass was uh, a little bit too far. Call from the referee. He's pointing out a player. Let's Cannot see. see. Switch in the sound. Okay, one of the Barcelona players stole the basket. Blue number 11, two minutes for roughing. Ah, two minutes for roughing. For number 11, but I don't know if it's the, the, the blue or the white. Two minutes for roughing. Time out, blue. Time out, blue. Time out, blue. But good, I mean... This is the Time chance. Out, blue. So if Barcelona managed to manage to do the same attack they did right now, but not alone with one player, uh, but uh, number with two, three, in blue. they would have two a good chance to score here it's a blue uh, against the Hammerheads in this uh, this power play they have with one more with one player more in the field. But I'm pretty sure the Hammerheads have a plan. Plan B. Well, now they how have to deal uh, with the yeah. situation when they Let have one see. player less. So w they will go into defense mode Let and try yeah. to prevent the attack. Let me see the. Um, All right, I'll let you see. <laughs> the player, the number eleven, and we have the families. Uh, what's the position that number eleven the time plays? The time is Probably over. defending or. or wait for my start. From the Hammerheads. So the timeout is almost over. So Have I told you to come out? Go back. So, Gomez. I don't know. Oh, this is only the family name. Gomez is. Uh, and I don't what know what, what kind is of. happening now? <coughs> they ordered them to go back to their site. Yeah. Huh. Okay, Gracias. All right, let's do a white free throw. <laughs> so free so throw. So Manuel is establishing here uh, his authority yeah. as a referee. Uh, that's a good thing from time to time to remind the teams who has the final word. Um, ah, a goalie. Okay, now they're missing a goalie. Oh, that's that's tough for the Hammerheads. Well, but if they have four, then the, the other three will have okay. to make it work. Okay, here we come. Barcelona is going in for the for the goal. Already one uh, player lying on the open side, but she's immediately tackled as soon as she got the ball. And uh, they would have to, to put a block there so the, the attacker from the open side can work on it. Oh, okay. We have one uh, oh of the Barcelona teams yes, in open. a good position. She, was open. Yeah. she should have turned around to the wall, so she would be, have been protected by the wall. Like this, the ball was snatched away from her. And this up to the surface in the block ball is dropping down, recovered on the close side by the Barcelona. Barcelona player. needs to put everything right now because um, otherwise, uh, you know, it's a big chance. They yeah. have now they have free throw. They can a attack, and they are in the side of the hammerhead. So they have to continue. They need to be a little bit more structured. They're going one and one and one. They need to have two yeah. or yeah, three yeah, to help themselves. Especially th like this, that. <sighs> You just uh, spent your energy, but you will not get anywhere. You have to go in position. You have to be the player in their position and then attack. And don't pass the ball to one waiting on there. Just go in yourself yep. if there's someone positioned. You would have, Barcelona would have uh, some chances here right now to score. But like this, the Hammerheads are uh, They are experienced players and yes, yep. I mean, they, they know what they're doing. So now they're... Um, get one <laughs> player with the ball hostage almost and uh, let's see if they the Barcelona players can get the uh, the ball and they are trying to position that's good okay they are yeah, coming yeah. to attack that's we have one and uh, she didn't see this there was a block she had all the space on yes, the left hand side and she didn't see well it done by the one lying on the open side that's that's a pity because there was a good situation and it was not that far away for the Barcelona player. No. Now we have again this she player who didn't really see it or didn't go for the other player. She's up on a on a cluster 
on the surface. Now the basket is stolen away by Barcelona. If they manage to bring down the white ball, that throw. could be a, oh, it's a white free, free throw. Free throw for white. So if someone from Barcelona realized that they need to replace the one that stole, great. I mean, uh, one of the, the it's free throw for white and blue doesn't have another free. And then the next Barcelona player is coming to replace ah, the, the, the next. They're the doing Barcelona really good exchange job. Exchange very told well. Them well. That's a good <laughs> attack strategy. Uh, I really like to see yeah, that. Yeah, but what about the free throw? It didn't take place. I mean, when did... They, they, they executed, it, executed it really fast and went in for it. But uh, sadly, none of the players saw them or um, were able to transport the ball. I didn't see that. Oh, nice catch. Uh, in the backhand of this uh, ball falling down. Okay, attack from Barcelona. I mean, Barcelona, uh, like, you know, wake up a little bit and it's now... Uh, a little Come on, okay, yes! Okay, oh. steal again the, the basket. Good, good play. Stealing away the basket here. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a... Yeah, but I mean, they're, they're, they're more active. The yes, 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 yes. They're just always missing, always a little... I mean, the hammerheads are more... They, they, they play better together with the timings of each player. They are where supposed to be. They can, you know, they can... Uh, defend and attack uh, in a much better together way than Barcelona. All the Barcelona were much, much better at the beginning of the game. So Hammerheads are again in full strength in the water and we have five minutes left in the second half. And Barcelona, if you want to turn that uh, game around, um, you have to find a solution in the next five minutes. Otherwise it's... Uh Karina, you can commentate the game with us through the commentaries. <laughs> Um, Karina plays for, for Barcelona as well, so we are, she's sick at home, so probably this is not so hard to watch when you are sick or yes. when you are playing. Ball is dropping yep. down uh, out of this uh, cluster in front of the uh, Barcelona basket. Good attack from the Hammerheads, they are back on their, on their game, I mean, out of their basket. Let's see, I mean, it's four minutes left from the second half. Do you think Barcelona has a chance to score? Well. Um, like you say, nothing is impossible and uh, four minutes is four minutes. You can do a lot in four minutes. But what we saw so far in the attack structure of Barcelona, it will be difficult for them. They should go in with full strength. But uh, yeah, before they can do that, they have to be close to the... Oh, that is a difficult situation. The Hammerheads are under the basket of Barcelona and for a... a Quite a time there was no defender in front of it. Now the defenders of Barcelona are back and the situation is solved. Great recovery from Barcelona and then a counter attack. Ah, there was a stolen by the Hammerhead. Good catch. And uh, Very well intercepted by yeah. the Hammerheads here. They are also into the game and they don't uh, give any presence to the Barcelona players here. If there is any kind of mistake, the Hammerheads go in and exploit it. So we have now the Hammerhead attacking and uh, three minutes to go. Let's see if Barcelona can get the ball um, and try to uh, do a counter-attack as 1-0 uh, against them. Three minutes left. Time is ticking, Barcelona. And it's in favor of the Hammerheads who I would say they dominated this game. Uh, yes, yes. Even, even though uh, Barcelona had... Recover uh, and did much better, yeah. Yeah, uh, Barcelona did uh, quite good in defending and attacking, but uh, the advantage is on the side of the Hammerheads here for this game. Um, that's that's for sure. Two and a half minutes left. Barcelona needs to get out here. Need to throw all the players in front and go in on the basket of the Hammerheads with all their strength if they want to uh, score before these uh, two minutes and 15 seconds are counting down. <coughs> Good recovery from um, the Hammerheads that went towards the Spanish basket, but were really uh, slowed down and stopped, and now they're fighting in the top. Um, ¿Cómo están los, uh, los fans de Barcelona? Tenemos ahí... Another attack from <laughs> above. Oh, and the goalkeeper um, moved uh, yeah, away yeah. from the basket. Now the relief goalkeeper is in. So quite good solve to have to admit that looked dangerous. But uh, that's what we saw here. Barcelona has a pretty good defense. And 
the the one goal the Hammerheads uh, managed was on the open basket against the defense. It's really difficult for the Hammerheads to uh, go in and force this gap you need to to have to score. Good game from the Hammerheads, good ball control and amazing uh, defense from Barcelona. Here the ball is in the hand of the goalkeeper, pushes away from the goal, Last passes minute. on to his uh, teammate on the bottom, up Campile. to the other, oh, and call happened? from the referee. Uh, holding the on mask. to the mask. Oh, but it would be had been that we didn't let it, I mean, what I a would pity. have uh, given the advantage yeah, to yeah, yes. Because now they the, the time is kicking. The, I mean, the, they the were the exactly. Momentum, I mean, yeah. they're coming. They start the free throw that executed very quickly. This is quickly. working they're against coming. the Barcelona. Yeah, that's such a pity. Another and now call. another. What will happen? We don't hear the referee. No, no it's no sound. Free anymore. throw for the Hammerheads. Thirty-eight seconds. Thirty-one. Okay, this game is over. Hammerheads are in ball possession. And this uh, game definitely goes on the side of the Hammerheads. And uh, yes, they earned it. Um, they, uh, I think they have more ball possessioning time. And uh, kick off uh, better ball control compared to Barcelona, who did an amazing defense job. Yeah. So... 1-0, the game is over, it's 1-0 for the Hammerhead, but great game. Karina, what's your opinion? <laughs> You're a player of the, what's the opinion of the family of the, of the Hammerheads? I mean, it was Big a thanks. great match, it was very tight, even though Hammerheads m were like a little bit more dominating and on top of the game than Barcelona. Big thanks to both teams, to Barcelona, and uh, big thanks to the Hammerheads. And now it says Ispior, <laughs> Ispior Narna uh, from Sweden against the Victoria Sea Dragons from Australia. And Lisa and Jared wanted to take over this game. Jared, because Victoria Sea so Dragons is probably the team. Uh, um, We are not saying goodbye for, uh, we see the replay of the game, but we're not saying goodbye yet. Uh, because after the game, uh, if possible, we will try to do an interview with the organizer of the World Championship in Canada. That will be probably interesting for some people so stay tuned after the last game we will do an interview if possible we don't know if Nani yeah, yeah uh, but because but she's will playing at eight. she's playing now I mean yeah so uh. she will come out uh, after the game and uh, if she's up for it we will do an interview thank you for listening and uh, we give uh, the microphone to Jared and Lisa